Hey, it's D2 with Big Peach Running Company, and we're back with our first impressions videos, and I must apologize, it has been a while since I've done one of these. Truth be told, I wasn't running quite as much and wasn't feeling quite up to reviewing products only because I was suffering a little bit from plantar fasciitis, and I wanted to make sure that I was back at 100%, which I am now, and then we'll cover uh, how I recover from plantar fasciitis and some things that I did in another video, but I'm really stoked about this particular shoe. Um, it's been on my mind for, for several months. I've been running in it. I've put over 180 miles in it. So it's more than just a first impression. This is more of a full in-depth review. And I'm talking about the Hoka Speed Goat. So this is a shoe designed primarily to go longer distances. It's inspired by Carl Messer, who has you know, won more 100 mile races than anyone uh, else. So definitely for the ultra runner, this is a shoe for you to consider. Even if you're not going, uh, you know, doing an ultra and going really long, this is still a good shoe for shorter trail runs as well. And I'll tell you why. First of all, the fit has been improved over the previous version. So the toe box is wider and in doing so just uh, is a bit more accommodating. Cushioning is also a bit softer than the previous version. This at 180 miles is holding up very, very well. As you can see, it almost looks brand new. Aside from a little bit of dirt, if I were to you know, rinse it and wash it, you know, it would probably look uh, brand new. So durability is holding really well. Um, it's got great traction. It's got some really, you know, fairly aggressive lugs, and it also uses the Vibram outsole, which makes it very gripping. On hard packed surfaces, it grips and doesn't slip. In the rain, which I was very surprised and very kind of hesitant to, to really put it through its paces until I actually went out this past weekend and was out at Cloudland Canyon and was doing the West Rim Loop when it just started, you know, first it was a light, uh, you know, drizzle, then it just downpoured, and I was able to run through very technical sections, very rocky and rooty sections with extremely, uh, you know, good amount of confidence. Um, and I've run on some, uh, on some rocks where, you know, once it gets wet, it kind of, you lose your footing a little bit, slips a little bit. Not one single time did I slip through any of uh, the run that I had this past weekend. So, speaking of which, Running through those puddles, you know, the shoe obviously got waterlogged. However, it drained very, very well. There is something about the way the shoe is designed that allowed the water to escape and drain. So by the time I was done with my run, the shoes were wet, but they were not waterlogged. They were not squishy. You could not feel that, you know, squishiness, you know, that you would normally feel in a shoe that's just so completely within a day, they were completely dry again. So I would recommend, you know, if you're running in the rain, just to help them, you know, dry a little bit quicker, stuff some newspaper in them. Um, that'll help absorb the moisture and help them dry a little bit quicker. You know, I wish it was a little bit lighter. I wish it felt as light as a Challenger or a Torrent, but overall, I don't notice the weight when I put miles on it. So the longest I've run at this point has been about 15 miles. Um, I've done anywhere from back-to-back -back days of 10 to 12 miles, and it has felt very, very comfortable. Um, you know, the price uh, is at $140. I think at 180 miles now, I think it's going to hold up easily over 300 miles. Um, the traction doesn't seem like it's, you know, the outsole doesn't seem like it's wearing out. The traction is still holding up. The uppers are still holding up. So I would really recommend that you come in and try on the Hoka Speed Go 2. I think you're going to be very pleasantly surprised. And at a price point of $140, I think you're getting a lot of shoe at that price point. And there you have it, the Hoka Speed Go 2. Recommend you come in to your local Big Peach Running Company store, give it a try, take it on some trails. I think you'd be pleasantly surprised. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and Instagram. I'm planning on a couple more videos, including some products that are not going to be footwear related, but some other things that I think may help you stay healthier, prevent things like plantar fasciitis, and maybe even recover from plantar fasciitis and some other injury related uh, you know, products. And uh, don't forget, may your best miles be those covered on foot.